This short video provides um, an explanation for the measurement of the floor finishes for the approximate quants. The um, floor finish will be measured as an area and that area will be the gross um, internal floor area of the building with a deduction for the area occupied at the base of the walls and also um, adding for the finishes that we'll have through the door openings. We are assuming in this case that we have the same floor finish um, throughout, so adopting a holistic approach we're avoiding a piecemeal uh, calculation where we identify and uh, calculate the floor area for each room. So adopting a holistic approach, first of all establish the gross internal floor area for the building. So we've, we, we would have then measured the floor finish um, throughout the building. The calculation for the gross internal floor area uh, was explained in an earlier video, the uh, measurement of the ground floor slab. So if you need extra help on this, um, I refer you to this video. So we've established the gross internal floor area and then we need to make our first adjustment, our over measure for the area occupied by the internal walls. This is better explained by looking um, at this sketch. So here I have a section, the uh, concrete bed and screed and my block work that sits on my screed. So obviously when we uh, lay our floor finish, we don't lay it um, through the base of the wall. So we actually have an over measure here. So we need to make a deduction for this area occupied by the um, internal wall. So that area is going to be the length of our internal wall times the width of our internal wall. The internal wall length, um, we have already established that um, in our measurement for the internal walls. So we can bring forward that quant and then measure it, um, multiply it by the thickness of the base of the wall. The next thing we need to do is to make an addition for the under measure at the door opening. So if we have a look at this sketch, you can see I have a, a plan and uh, here I have my blockwork walls and I have my door opening. So we have um, measured the gross internal floor area and then we've deducted out for the area occupied by the wall. So you can see if our finishes were in blue, say it's a carpet, we need to make an allowance for the finishes through the door opening. So that's going to be an additional area. So we can establish that area by the um, multiplying the, the width of the door opening by the, um, the width of the wall to establish our area.